In today's Spotlight on COVID, I'm talking to Dr. Zeno Leone, Teaching Fellow in the Defence Studies Department at King's College London. Dr. Leone's research focuses on China's global politics, US and UK-China relations, and China's grand strategy. Today, we're going to discuss what the COVID-19 crisis, as well as the recent events in Hong Kong and China's increasing aggression as a world power, means for Britain's relations with the global superpower. So thank you very much for joining me today, um, Dr. Leone. Um, in just five short years, we've gone from announcements about a golden era for UK-China relations under David Cameron, the former Prime Minister, to increasing suspicion and tension between the two countries. We've seen the new security legislation undermining rights and freedoms in Hong Kong, and most recently the UK has backtracked on Huawei's involvement in 5G, which has angered China. To what extent was COVID and the Chinese covering up of the crisis early on heighten these tensions? Or do you think we would have witnessed this cooling off of relations anyway, given what's happened geopolitically? Thank you. I think the golden era started to cool off before COVID-19 with, on the one hand, the trade war between the US and China, and on the other hand, with the debate on Huawei's 5G uh, in Britain. Uh, certainly, COVID-19 has made more urgent uh, the concerns of certain uh, security agencies of the British government and of some uh, conservative MPs. However, we don't know yet whether this is going to be a short-term or a long-term shift. It will depend on the duration of the pandemic and on the future of US-China relations. Uh, but in general, I think there is a feeling in Britain, as in the rest of the West, that uh, economic engagement will not be enough to uh, unleash uh, political reforms in China. Yes, and speaking of sort of political reforms and economic engagement, what does this mean for the post-Brexit era um, when it comes to global Britain and the need to negotiate new trade deals? We saw the former UK Chancellor Philip Hammond recently lamenting the growing hostility towards China and his own party, knowing that the UK economy depends on Chinese investment to some extent. Um, and we're going to see a worsening economic outlook because of COVID um, and a potentially hard Brexit. So how is Britain going to get the balance right between the, the economic needs and the security needs? I think this is an interesting question because I believe there is a relationship between uh, Brexit and the future of UK-China relations. And in fact, I think that the very first move to tackle this uh, economy security conundrum we are talking about between uh, the UK and China is to, to get a smooth uh, Brexit negotiation. This is because China is a very important economic actor for Britain, but it's not the most important partner the most important partner is the European Union. Therefore, uh, if we can avoid a no-deal Brexit, that means that the UK can, in the coming years, negotiate a uh, trade agreement with China from a position of strength. In addition, we shouldn't only focus on critical and newsworthy infrastructures, but the British government should ensure that every Chinese company operating in the country complies with international labor and environmental standards. In order to do that, we need a whole of government approach and in particular more cooperation between central government and local council. Yes, OK. Um, if we look across uh, the Atlantic, the US has taken a pretty different approach to China, um, with Donald Trump seemingly blaming China for the pandemic, calling COVID-19 the Chinese virus, even suggesting it originated in a lab in Wuhan. What does this mean for global politics? Are we potentially entering a new kind of Cold War? I think there are important differences, but also some interesting similarities between competition between the US and China on the one hand and the Cold War on the other hand. Uh, from my point of view, uh, the American and Chinese economy are very interdependent and they are both deeply entangled to global supply chains. And this means that these two great powers uh, do not want to or cannot uh, fight each other. And therefore, they uh, compete over many other issues, from WTO rules to Huawei's 5Gs, from the truth about COVID to protests in Hong Kong and the United States. Um, and every time they try to take the opportunity to delegitimize the adversary, as it used to be during the Cold War. Uh, 
Unfortunately, the United Kingdom is in the middle of this uh, competition, and we could see that with Boris Johnson's U-turn on Huawei's 5G.